Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a tutorial to share with you today. We're using this book called A Beginner's Guide to Constructing the Universe. It's an amazing book that goes through the quality of numbers from 1 to 10. Today we're working on the quality of the number 4 and we're looking at volumes and creating the regular solids. So I'm going to teach you how to do the regular solid, the octahedron. I'm going to measure about two inches for my compass. You can do this larger or smaller depending on the size of your paper. I'm going to start by doing one circle and then placing my compass on the circumference to draw the second circle. At this point, you'll see two centers of the circle and you want to use your straight edge to connect those two points and then extend the line all the way to the right. Where that line crosses the circumference on the second circle, we're going to place our compass and draw our third circle. And then where those two circles cross, where that arc is, we're going to place our compass and once again draw another circle. And then you can see where these arcs are crossing, we're going to place one more circle so that we have five circles, three on top and two below. Now we want to connect where those arcs are. So we're going to start on the left side and we're going to connect basically diagonal lines that go from the left side of our drawing all the way to the right side of our drawing. Now we'll probably end up with more triangles than we need so I'm going to show you how to count them out at the end so that we have enough triangles in order to create this regular solid. We're also going to connect those centers of the circles with two lines at the top and the bottom and then continue with our diagonal lines. So we want to count them up and it is an octahedral shape so we do need eight sides in total. I'm adding in the last couple of triangles here and erasing all of the extra arcs as they are not necessary. So now we have our eight triangles and we want to make these little tabs so that we can actually assemble this shape and use a little bit of double stick tape so that we can assemble this without seeing any tape lines on the outside. Now we're going to cut out our shape and we want to make sure that we're cutting around those little tabs. Once you've cut around your entire shape it's time to use our bone folder in order to make some crease lines. And I'm, I'm going to be doing this on top of our image where you can see all of the lines and you want to crease all of them so that they can fold easily, especially the tab pieces. You want to make sure that you get those as well. So now we're going to fold everything so that it's easy to assemble and you do want to practice assembling this once before you add the tape to make sure that you know where to position all of your pieces. Next, we're going to add some double stick tape to each of those tabs. I'm using some double stick fabric tape. It, they come in very narrow strips and this works perfectly for a project like this. It's also extremely tacky and so it's going to stick really easily. So I've pulled off the strips and now it's time to assemble our piece and you want to be as careful as possible and as accurate as possible. You don't have to worry about the angles because we have cut out just the right amount of pieces. It will assemble and the angles will take care of themselves. We're just going to slip in the last piece here with those two tabs inside and then that completes our octahedron. Of course you can always print off your own template but I really love doing this geometry from start to finish. So with just a few simple tools you can create your own regular solids. I hope you'll check out the blog post that accompanies this video where I share more geometry tutorials as well as links to all of the resources that we have used for our geometry main lesson block. You can find that link down in the description box below. And if you'd like to see what we're doing for geometry on a regular basis, you can find me on Instagram and now on TikTok at Pepper and Pine.